And now, here's your host for the 80th Annual Academy Awards, John Stewart. This is exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. What an exciting night. These past three and a half months have been very tough. The town was torn apart by a bitter writer's strike, but I'm happy to say that the fight is over. So tonight, tonight, welcome to the makeup sex. Of course, there is still obviously some collateral damage left over from the strike, emotionally, economically, perhaps worst of all, the cancellation of the legendary Vanity Fair Oscar party. Um, they said they did it out of, quote, respect for the writers. And, uh, oh, you know another way they could show respect for the writers? Uh, maybe one day invite some of them to the Vanity Fair Oscar party. <laughs> they would enjoy it. <laughs> Don't worry. They won't mingle. Don't worry. <laughs> they actually say that having the Oscars helped to end the strike. That the idea that getting the town back to work and having an Oscars was one of the impetus to, uh, to get things done. Which I think is wonderful. So if we could, before we spend the next four to five hours <laughs> giving each other golden statues, let's take a moment to congratulate ourselves. Um, <laughs> tonight we look beyond the dark days to focus on happier fare. This year's slate of Oscar-nominated psychopathic killer movies. Um, <laughs> does this town need a hug? What, what, <laughs> what happened? No country for old men. Sweeney Todd, there will be blood. All I can say is thank God for teen pregnancy. <laughs> yeah. No, I think the country agrees. Shit everybody up. They needed that kind of lighthearted fare. There were, if I may, amazing performances this year, and I think everybody can agree on that. There really were. Uh, just terrific. Daniel Day-Lewis, remarkable. Kate Blanchett, twice. My friend Javier Bardem. Javier Bardem is Anton Chigurh. Remarkable. Your work in No Country for Old Men, combining brilliantly Hannibal Lecter's murderousness with Dorothy Hamill's wedge cut. It was... <laughs> Julie Christie was absolutely amazing and away from her. Uh, brilliant movie. It was a moving story of a woman who forgets her own husband. Hillary Clinton called it the feel-good movie of the year. <laughs> it... <laughs> Diablo Cody. What an amazing story. She wrote Juno. Such a great movie. Diablo Cody used to be an exotic dancer, and now she's an Oscar-nominated screenwriter. I hope you're enjoying the pay cut. It is... <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but uh, if you want to find out your stripper name uh, at home, all you have to do is take your pet's name and the street you grew up on. So uh, that makes my stripper name uh, Olympia Dukakis. <laughs> Democrats do have an historic race going, Hillary Clinton versus Barack Obama. Normally, when you see a black man or a woman president, an asteroid is about to hit the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> How will we know it's the future? 